Welcome back everybody. I want to do a quick video on why I think you should consider being a wastewater treatment plant operator. I meant to do this video uh, way early on in the channel, but too many cool things were happening in the plant so that pri I prioritized those cool things uh, in my video. And if you're brand new to this channel and you're finding this because you're on the fence about the industry, uh, this channel is designed to help you get certified and help you study. And also I take you through my plant and kind of put a face to the name on processes that you might be unfamiliar with. So that's the whole Thing I'm trying to accomplish here. And in that vein, I wanted to talk to you about why you might be considering being a wastewater treatment plant operator. And I told my story a couple weeks ago, not the whole thing, but a little bit of a, uh, uh, early on in my career, um, in a video about how you break into the industry. And when you get to the end of this video, it'll pop up on your screen. You can go watch that now. So I'm not going to rehash my whole story here, but when I, I'm going to give you three main, main reasons. And, and at the end of this, if you're an operator and you want to either back me up on your, and you agree with the reasons I put, or there's a different reason that you'd like to share as to why you got involved or why you're still, you decided to stay in the industry uh, to help people who are considering this, please put it in the comments below. But I'll start with reason number one, and that is uh, job security and stability. So I am not college educated. I just was not my scene. And um, I wanted to work. I didn't want to sit in class all day. It was just really hard for me to sit still. Um, and if any of you've been watching my videos, you can probably figure that out. I'm pretty high strung. So sitting in class was not really helpful for me. But um, what I ended up doing was moving all around. And then I fell uh, of the country and I fell backwards into this knowing I needed to find something and then stumbling upon wastewater treatment and uh, deciding to pursue it realizing that this is a recession proof industry. This is a truly recession proof industry. I have worked through, um, actually I got into the industry during the great recession and those operators were making overtime hand over fist. They were not worried about their job. And so what I saw while everybody else was getting laid off and you know, there was blood in the streets, these guys were raking in overtime. So I was like, Hey man, I need to get on that train. And so, uh, what I've seen through my 14 years of being in, in this, well, 15 years now of being all in this is, uh, uh, it's only gotten better for me. And, and as I've increased my certificates, uh, I've got recruiters constantly calling me. I've got, and that's been happening for years. It's not just now, ever since I got my grade two wastewater, grade two, I'm a grade four now, a grade two, I had recruiters calling and asking if I would want to come do this, a job somewhere here, move there, wherever. So, um, People don't stop flushing their toilets during a recession. People don't stop um, uh, drinking water. People don't, the environment still needs to be managed because the last thing we need in a recession, we never need it anyway, but the last thing we need in a recession is a public health emergency. Um, so yeah, the wastewater treatment industry is alive and well. Now, there's some concern I've heard about there about automation and AI. Well, first on the AI front, I'm not that worried about it. Um, yet probably one day uh, we're going to have to you know go toe to toe with ai but not at this point there's not a whole lot of ai that i've seen coming out in wastewater treatment automation sure but all the automation has done is make the wastewater treatment plants uh, operators need to be a little bit more tech savvy and the new generation is right for that and right now we are undergoing a horrible attrition they call it the silver tsunami where all the boomers are retiring and the youngest you young folks aren't getting into the industry and we have a massive operator shortage one of the big reasons i started this channel was to help people over the hump so to help the operator shortage um and on that note that brings me to number two so you got your job security you also have money because supply and demand says when when operators are in demand wages go higher and i have only seen my wages go up 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 and i i am now at a point in my career now remember I, i'm i'm in management i have high level certifications. I've been doing it a while. I've got some mechanical skills, so I've got a lot going for me, but I now make a wage that my wife's able to stay home with our kids and I can pay the mortgage on my own and all of our expenses. So that is awesome. Now I live in California, so cost of living's high. My wage goes high. It's kind of all part and parcel. And you have to weigh it around where you live. If that's something that works for you. Um, cause some, some areas of the country don't pay as well. Uh, I believe it's the Southeast, I want to say, like Mississippi, Alabama. I've read, I'm on the Reddit forums, I'm on Discord, and I watch people's, um, you know, what they're putting is for their salaries. In some places, I, I can't even imagine making that little, but it might be cost of living. I, I don't know how much it costs to live in Mississippi. Probably a lot less in California. <laughs> so um, my wages are higher, my cost of living's higher, but I'm at a place now where I'm able to support my family. And I think 
that if you apply yourself and you, you also develop the skills that I've developed and you are able to get these certifications and move into management, you too can do that. But I'm also seeing shift operator wages skyrocket. It's pretty awesome to see. Um, now, when I first got in, am I saying that you're gonna do that right out of the gate? No, I'm not saying that. When I first got into the industry, I could not have taken care of my, no way. I couldn't have taken care of my family all by myself, but I took care of me all by myself. And that's all I needed back then, okay? Because before I got in, I was struggling to make it. Just me. Um, and I was working three jobs, the whole thing. So anyway, I think the second reason you might consider being a wastewater treatment plant operator is the wages are going higher right now. And I think it's a really uh, good time to get in. Now, number three, and this is gonna be getting out of the me uh, column. And my, my I got my job security, I got my uh, pay. Now what? You are doing a valuable service for your community. You are one of the fine lines in public health between disease and um, health, between outbreaks and making sure people's uh, drinking water is clean, the receiving waters that they may be swimming in are clean, the fishing, you know, people are fishing out of these waters, and we are at the ground water table that, you know, we're making sure they're not getting loaded up with nitrites and nitrates and all these things. Uh, what we do is for the public and the environmental health. It is a very important service we're doing by treating the wastewater. Now, you may think I'm sounding a little romantic and, and epic about this, but quite honestly, I'm not. It, we are on the front lines of public health. And, and I think it's a, a great responsibility and a great privilege to work in this industry. And, you know, I guess I'll throw a number four in. It is a lot of variety in this. And it's, a, it's you got biology, chemistry, mechanical, anything you really want to dive into, you can really get into some cool stuff in wastewater treatment. But I think that um, those would be the main reasons that you would consider being a wastewater treatment plant operator. Job security, financial um, stability, Public, doing your community a great service as a, as a public servant. Whether you work for a public utility or a private contractor, you are still serving your community. And then my bonus was, it, there's a lot of variety and it's a cool job. So anyway, if, if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, pass to your friends. Let's help people get certified. And then if uh, you have something to add or you disagree with me or whatever, I love hearing from all of you. Put it in the comments below and uh, we'll have a conversation down there. And until next time, have a great day.